The Arena Al Schalke will be one of the 10 venues hosting matches at UEFA Euro 2024, operating under its traditional name during the tournament with a listed capacity of 50,000. The Arena Al Schalke sits on Berger Field in Erla, part of the geographical centre of Gelsenkirchen. The Al Schalke name is somewhat misleading as the district of Schalke is actually further south than the stadium site. Aside from its traditional name, it may be better known nowadays to people as the Veltins Arena, a sponsorship name from the German brewery that it has held since 2005. The stadium since opening has been used by FC Schalke 0 Thea, one of the country's biggest and most historic football clubs. Plans for the Arena Al Schalke date back to the 1990s. Schalke at the time were based at the Parkstadion, their home since 1973. It was a big stadium, but old-fashioned in its design. This, coupled with Schalke's recent European success and upcoming centenary, encouraged the construction of a new, modern home. The site chosen for the new stadium was on land owned by Schalke, not far from the Parkstadion. There was an issue formed by mine shafts directly underneath the site though, which presented the risk of shifts and tensions that could compromise the stadium's structural integrity. To get around this, the stadium has been built on a rotated axis, favouring a north-east-south-west alignment instead of the classic north-south arrangement. Construction of the new multifunctional arena took place between 1998 and 2001. Schalke played their final match of the Park Stadion on the 19th of May 2001, a 5-3 win over Unterhaking in front of 65,000 people. It was hoped to be the day Schalke secured a first Bundesliga era title, but a very late Bayern Munich goal elsewhere killed the hopes of sending the stadium out with the ultimate German honour. The Park Stadion site is still in use today. A simple pitch though with one curved terrace to the east. Schalke's youth and second team play games here. The Arena Al Schalke would officially open on the 13th of August 2001, instantly being in use by Schalke, the Bundesliga and UEFA Champions League matches. Its first major event came in 2004. 53,053 was the attendance for the UEFA Champions League final where FC Porto beat AS Monaco 3-0. It's around that same time that the Arena Al Schalke had experience of American football, hosting the NFL Europe side Ryan Fire in between its two spells in Dusseldorf. At the 2006 Thetha World Cup, the arena ran under the name Thetha World Cup Stadium Gelsenkirchen due to Thetha's rules around sponsorship. A total of five games took place here, including the quarter final between England and Portugal that Portugal won on penalties. The stadium's versatility has been demonstrated by hosting several other sports and events, including speedway, ice hockey, darts and multiple concerts. Immediately upon opening, the Arena Al Schalke was recognised as one of the world's most innovative stadiums, a later inspiration to places like the Friends Arena in Stockholm, Sweden and the State Farm Stadium in Arizona. Its standout exterior feature is its retractable canvas roof, able to be opened into two halves depending on both weather and the event. Two layers of Teflon coated fiberglass are purposely in place up here to create a dampening air cushion that reduces exterior noise during concerts. The interior splits itself into two clear tiers the whole way around, with the main stand and main executive facilities over to the west. The bottom tier of the north stand contains standing terrace that can be converted into seating through international matches and there is also a section of standing terrace in the southeast corner that forms part of the stadium's designated away section on Schalke match days. One leading feature of the Arena Al Schalke is its sliding pitch. It takes around four hours for the pitch to be descended and slid out of the stadium's southern end. This allows the surface to reach natural sunlight more easily and protects the football pitch when it's not in use. In the centre of the stadium, high above the pitch, sits a quartet of video screens, each 35 square metres in area. A centrally suspended scoreboard like this is commonplace in plenty of sport venues now, but the one at the Arena Al Schalke was the first of its kind at any football stadium. 2024 will see the Arena Al Schalke host its second major international football tournament. In total, the stadium will host four games. Serbia v England in Group C on Sunday the 16th of June, Spain v Italy in Group B on Thursday the 20th of June, Georgia v Portugal in Group F on Wednesday the 26th of June, and C1 v D3, E3 or F3 in the round of 16 on Sunday the 30th of June. Will you be attending any of the Euro 2024 games at the Arena Al Schalke? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the Match Demand for more stadium profiles like this one. I'll see you then.